Hey, ramen fans. Back in 2010, I teamed up with my friend for a series we called Collabo Ramen. Hope you enjoy these throwbacks to my early years. I'm Brian from Ramen Adventures, and he's Daniel from How to Japanese. And this is Collabo Ramen. My parents were in town last week to see the cherry blossoms, so Brian and I took them to Keisuke Nidaime, our fourth and final stop on Tokyo Ramen Street. Takeda Keisuke isn't your average ramen chef. Along with five years of Japanese, he spent a dozen years studying French cuisine. He brings this knowledge to his series of shops, with each one blending the traditional and the not-so-traditional. The branch at Tokyo Ramen Street takes his second shop, Keisuke Nidaime, and brings its shellfish broth to the station. Alright, we got the Nidame spoon. Let's try it for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> mm, good smell. Body mm. my so good. Oh, like a bisque almost. The Isebi ramen made with Japanese spiny lobster is a bit hardier in taste and only available here. I really enjoyed every drop out of the giant custom spoon. Mm. Oh, it's great. I went with the shrimp wonton ramen, which includes several hearty wontons and a slightly lighter broth. Yeah, that's rich. Not too different from the, the lobster one, though. Pretty good, real good, though. Mm. It's amazing. Here's what my parents had to say about the ramen. It tastes like I'm at the seaside. I can taste the ocean. It uh, tastes like spaghetti without the meat tomato sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I think a little bit different than spaghetti without the tomato sauce. <laughs> More like lobster, fresh caught. If you like Keisuke's take on ramen, check out his other shops scattered around Tokyo. Shodai serves burnt miso, Yondame does a fried noodle skimen, and his latest serves up a massive amount of pork in a heavy soy broth, and they're all great. If you're looking for English language reading material, head to the Marunouchi North Exit and look for the Marunouchi Oazo Building. Maruzen is a great bookstore, and this location in particular has an amazing selection of books and magazines in English on the fourth floor. You can find books on Japanese, books on vampires, and they even have a section on social sciences and the natural sciences, so you can finally track down those books on lasers that you've been looking for. Thanks again to iVideo for hooking me up with this portable Wi-Fi unit. iVideo will ship a rental pocket Wi-Fi to your house before your trip so you have it ready to go. The Japanese models have unlimited data, great for streaming all your favorite Ramen Adventures videos. Hey, check out the link in the description and use my offer code for a sweet discount.